gender equality and women's empowerment um, are both priorities for the Australian Government in Australia and abroad. The Australian Government now has a target requiring at least 80% of investments, regardless of objectives, to address gender issues in implementation. A growing body of evidence shows that sport is a viable tool for promoting gender equality and empowering women and girls. We support a partnership between Australian sport organisations, uh, regional sport federations to work directly with their Fijian counterparts. Uh, the partnership provides funding but as well as skills and knowledge transfer uh, on good governance, uh, sport management and how to deliver quality sport programs. The Australian Government supports Cricket Australia and the International Cricket Council to work with Cricket Fiji to get women participating in cricket, with female development officers working across Fiji tasked to grow the sport and increase female participation. With Cricket Fiji because I get to go out to places where I've never been, so I've, I got to go out to communities and meet with people and uh, networking, creating network with the uh, organizations and it was something new to them seeing a female run a program for cricket as well because in Fiji cricket is known to be a male dominating sport and the compliments that uh, we get from women is that it's really good to see women actually being active in sports I see myself as a role model, mostly in most of the schools, high school especially. Other places, like villages, we are not allowed to wear shorts. Like if they see me, and they will allow the other ones to wear shorts. The Australian Government supports Basketball Australia and FIBA in Oceania to work with Basketball Fiji on the Hoops for Health program to promote health messages to communities. The Hoops for Health program involves going out to primary schools and high schools and uh, teaching them about basketball, getting them to be interested in the sport so we can increase our numbers and the players, as well as uh, incorporating health messages to help them better their life choices. Leah is a Hoops for Health volunteer who goes into communities and runs the program. Today is like any other day, where she's running a program in a school. It's always good to have uh, a female face uh, present amongst the males and also out in the schools and also taking a leading role in uh, coaching and teaching the, the game of basketball and also uh, implementing the health messages that is part of the Hoops for Health uh, program. I feel like a leader in, a, in a, a community, in mine as well as the basketball one, because uh, I have more roles to fill and responsibilities to uphold, like coaching the kids, as well as increasing my knowledge in basketball. You hardly have any um, women who are role models in uh, Fiji as a community leader. So a lot of them are males especially the young women, there are hardly any. Community perceptions about the role of women are changing too. It's also equally important we move away from that, uh, the culture barrier of just women stay at home and the man goes to work. With time, that is slowly changing in the Pacific and with changes, we should also try and adapt and adjust. And this is a, a wonderful opportunity for a sport like uh, basketball to try and uh, to change with, with the current time and with the current culture. I feel, I feel good about this program and about how I give back to the community and everything that we do for Basketball PG. At the village level, there are many traditional protocols that hinder women from participating in sports. The Australian Government supports Volleyball Australia and the Oceania Zonal Volleyball Association to work with the Fiji Volleyball Federation to remove barriers to women's participation, to get women and girls on the court. The goal for the program is to promote physical activity on in the community level uh, with a target audience of uh, women and girls between the ages of uh, 13 to 35 years because of the high levels of NCDs that's impacting on the lives of these women. We understand, first of all, uh, the report uh, from the health ministry that a lot of women are dying early. If we didn't do anything now, it'll be a very uh, dangerous for us, especially in the coming future. Amongst the barriers that we uh, that came out of the research findings was uh, women were unfit, um, 
they didn't have the support from home, from their husbands, to be able to participate in any physical activity. Uh, they didn't have an event like a tournament to look out to. And there was traditional roles, they were just too busy in the homes to come out and, and participate in physical activity or organize tournaments. I like playing volleyball because of the atmosphere, the physical exercise that we have every afternoon. My fitness, well, uh, I've realized that I've lost some weight. I have been more active than I have been before. I feel great. What the women are doing now in this village of Waipo, uh, the children are looking at it as well and learning as well that physical activity is a must and then women can also play. They don't need shorts, they don't need you know, uniforms to even participate. They can just wear what they're wearing and just jump in the court and play. Even the elderly women over 60, they're playing. So that for us is a very good thing. Uh, she's 65 years old. The change that she can see uh, after participating in the sport is that um, she can see the changes in her body. She feels fit and healthy. And also uh, she's encouraged uh, her nieces and her nephews to be part of the program. So now it's a family affair. Everyone comes out and play on Monday.